What's going on guys, Sean here, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you five different tips straight from Gary Vee on how to be more successful. If you're trying to build a business in 2018 and you don't know who Gary Vee is, are you even trying to build a business in 2018? Let's get started. Nerf this. So if you are trying to do anything entrepreneurial and you don't know who Gary Vee is, I'm going to link some of his stuff below. Uh, he's put out multiple books. He has a podcast. I'll link all that in the description box. So definitely check that out. Uh, but tip number one is to get feedback. And not only get feedback, but go to the right source to get feedback. So if you're trying to do something, you want to seek out an expert in that field and get feedback from that person to know how you're doing to track and measure to see if what you're doing is right what's working what's not working so definitely get feedback ask for advice from that said professional so today is saturday lily and i are gonna be working on our crafts aka filming videos um i gotta hit the gym we gotta hit the store so let's see what the day has in store for us I gotta put my eyes in because I can't see and brush my teeth. Pissed, pissed, pissed. And you know before we go anywhere that I gotta get my coffee in. Yeah, cheers. to get a few things right now. Sheets. What else are you getting? Just the comforter. Just sheets and the comforter. I don't know. She's, she knows. She knows. So that's how we made out at Walmart. We went in for like one thing and we got 16 things, which is usually how it goes when you go to Walmart or Target or any place like that. But let me hit you with the second tip on how to be successful according to Gary Vee. And that is to do what you love, man. It's something that everyone, I believe, says in personal development. Find your passion, pursue your passion, and be persistent about your passion. Because it's true, if you really do what you love, the rest will follow. And I'm beating a dead horse when I say that, but it's, seriously, it's the truth. It's a cliche because the truth is so fine your passion and all your heart and do what you love to do. Hence why I make these videos and I don't get paid to do it because I fucking love doing it. That's number tip, let's keep this video rolling. Morning, may we help you? How you doing? Can I get um, a powdered donut please? One powder donut. And can I also get a medium iced coffee? I'll take it black with a shot of espresso, please. Medium iced black with a shot of espresso. How are you? Good, how you doing? Okay. So if you guys watch Gary Vee, you know he yard sales. He goes and finds products at yard sales just like that, and he flips them. So it's so crazy because he really loves the process. He has all this money, he's like super successful. Although, if you asked him, he wouldn't say he's successful, but I consider him super successful. And he still goes out on Saturday mornings and flips small little items like that because he just loves what he does. So going back to the second point, you gotta do what you love, man. So right now, Lily is getting ready to film. I'm gonna head to the gym and I'll give you the third tip over there. So because the lighting is like fantastic in the car right now, I'm just gonna give you the third tip right now and maybe I'll just give you number four after the workout. Tip three is to figure yourself out. And that kind of ties into number two when you're following your passion, you have to really discover what that passion is. 
and you need to become self-aware and that's a huge buzzword for Gary Vee. Um, he loves harping on becoming more self-aware so figure out what you're good at, what you like to do, what you don't like to do, what you're not good at, where you need to improve, where your talents are, what you're naturally gifted at, all those things. So number three is to figure yourself out, figure out your environment, become more self-aware and I'll see you after. Letting my car air out right now because it's super hot. Uh, just because of the greenhouse. What am I even saying? You know, because the car was sitting in the sun. But yeah, I had a great workout. It was amazing. I just love when you have a great workout and you feel those endorphins kicking in. Battery's about to die. Battery's about to die. So me the fourth tip from Gary V. Real quick because the battery's about to die. Um, that is to hold yourself accountable 100% of the time. So if you don't do something, it's on you. It's not outside circumstances. It's not his fault, her fault, God's fault. It's on you. It's you have to say, you have to look yourself in the mirror and say, I have to be better. I have to do better. I have to make this work. I have to do what I'm supposed to do when I'm supposed to do it. So tip number four is to hold yourself accountable. Gary V coming at you. Hopefully I can get a transition shot before this camera dies on the way home. So instead of going straight home, I decided to come shoot a couple hoops, get back to the stomping grounds, you know? Your boy was nice with it. Don't make me look bad. Uh, oh yeah. It was terrible, terrible. But one hand, no guide hand, no guide hand. I'm showered, changed up. Lily's about to film, so I am gonna head on the road and go do something. But I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's go on this journey together. I decided to stop and get an energy drink because I'm super tired from my workout. And I gotta stay up and gotta do stuff, so. Over caffeinated, baby. Listen. Drove down here, saw these dope bikes you can rent. They got nothing better to do. Let's uh let's see what let's see what we can do, huh boys? It's dope! <laughs> Yeah, the things you do to kill time, huh? Just for the record, my quads are on fire. Not ideal to do after you've worked out. <laughs> I'm really glad I found this because there's not going to be that many nice days left. So this is a really cool way to get some exercise and got something to do, you know? I've never rented a bike. I said I've ridden a bike before, but I've never rented one like for a ride. So I'm not even watching how much it's going to cost. Listen. I don't know how to work that thing yet, but that was a lot of fun. It brings me back to my childhood. So that was a lot of fun. I'll probably come back and do that again, because there's not going to be that many nice days left up in the Northeast. So, <clears throat> with that being said, let me give you Gary Fee's fifth tip on how to become successful. And that's to have a winner's mindset. And again, it's another cliche, but it's it's so true. You need to have a mindset to win. Mindset is to win. You need to be stronger than all the bullshit that comes your way. Mentally tough, mentally stronger than anything and everything that gets thrown at you. You gotta rise above. Keep raising the bar. Get outside your comfort zone. Try something new like renting that bike. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. 
I do release videos every Monday to get your week going and every Friday to get your weekend started. I do also release bonus videos, so make sure you got the bell icon clicked and you won't miss a thing. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully, I won't be out of breath. <laughs> Signing off.